Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Devotions. I'm Pastor Tim Mason, the Associate Pastor here at Incarnation Lutheran Church, and I'm so glad to spend this time with you. The usual reminder, anybody can participate with us on our online activities. Simply go to our website, godamong.us, godamong.us, and click on online activities, and you'll be able to join us with Bible study. You can be with me on, with Zoom on Tuesday check-in. But we would love to see you at worship um, on Sunday morning. Today's devotion is inspired by Pastor Jim Pullman, and the title is Ponder God's Gift. And it's based on um, Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 to 3, and I'm going to read verse 3. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. In our reading today from the book of Revelation, we see another scene unfolding from the opening of the sixth seal. In the previous scene, we saw everyone reeling as the foundations of the earth tore apart and people had nowhere to hide. And now we see God's mighty angels holding back the four winds so that God's servants can receive his seal of protection. The, ba the basic theme is the proclamation that all who have faith in God and the saving power of the Lamb, which is Jesus, will be spared from the oncoming destruction. So which group do you identify with? Are you in the company of God's servants? And these are the people who live by faith. Therefore, they will live in joy and hope. Or do you keep trying to run from God, hiding uh, everything that you would like to hide from God, our, our sin, our doubts, our shame, all the things that we seem to desire to want to hold on to rather than to Give to our Savior, our Savior God, who's saying, give, give me, give me those problems. Let me take them. Because if we decide to run from God, holding on to all those things that separate us from God, God will come running after us, chasing us down until he finds us like the good shepherd. The tearing open of creation leaves no uncertainty. Think of the temple curtain when it tore in two when Jesus, hanging on the cross, yielded up his spirit and said, it is finished. Through the death and resurrection of Jesus, God has powerfully proclaimed the time has come. There will, be, there will no longer be anywhere to hide. God no longer lives in this box referred to as the temple in Jerusalem. At this point, we must ponder God's gift of grace. Because Jesus, we can receive the seal of the living God, for he has conquered death and says, I give them eternal life. No one will snatch them out of my hand. And this is from John chapter 10, verse 28. God's seal on us is God's way of saying, I am your God, you are my people. I love and care for you more than you will ever understand. I'm not here to let destruction come upon you, but to give life to all who put their trust in me. John 3.16 The gift of God's seal is yours to embrace. A call and a commitment to stand with all who identify as servants of the living God. Your baptismal promise seals you as God's child now and for, forever, no matter what. And we all know that we can go all kinds of different ways. But no matter what time in our life, no matter what we are experiencing, God always calls us God's children. Hold on to that truth especially when you feel far from God's love and mercy, because it's exactly at these times that God is closest to us. Let us pray. Lord and Savior, 
Your grace and goodness are wide and deep. Thank you for your love and your protective care. Amen. Have a good evening. Sleep well, knowing that you are God's child.